Number 86. Explain why AL is a member of group 13 rather than group 3. All right, so this is, this is a theoretical question, right? They want to know why aluminum, AL, is a member of group 13 and rather than group 3. Now, this could come about because if we know the oxidation trends... Uh, which we went into depth last question. So if you want to learn a little bit about oxidation trends, go back to number 85. But as of right now, just know that group 1 is always a plus 1 charge, group 2 is always a plus 2, and then once you skip over your transition metals, group 13 becomes a plus 3, and then the trend continues. This is a plus or minus 4, then it's a negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. So aluminum is over here, right? Why is it in group 13 when it's a plus 3 charge, giving the you know assumption that, hey, it should be in group 3? And group 3 should be here, right? Well, it is here. This goes to back to electron configuration. So instead of me writing out, you know, in text, blah, 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 um, what the answer is, I'm just going to talk it out for you guys, and you could formulate it in your own words on paper. So we have to go by the electron configuration, which we've done plenty of times in this chapter, right? For aluminum, the electron configuration, if we want it to start from the beginning, is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then 3p1. Now, if you didn't know how to do that, go back to the past sections of this uh, chapter, there's one whole section just dedicated to figuring out, figuring out electron configurations, and from there, I'm certain that you guys will get them, all right? So we're just going to keep continuing on here. Now, if you look at aluminum, there's one subshell, there's two subshells that, that aren't here, but one of them in particular. There's no D subshell. There are no electrons in the D subshell for aluminum. And we should know that the Ds are actually here. This is where the D electron subshell is. So that's why aluminum is in group 13 instead of 3, because group 3 all the way to group 12 is designated towards the D subshell. All of these elements have electrons in a D subshell, whether it's a 3D, 4D, 5D, etc., etc. Aluminum, in its electron configuration, has no D subshell, and it has no electrons in the D subshell. So that's why they couldn't just make this group a group 3. They had to extend it to say that it's group 13 because of the D subshell elements that they found out about. But most specifically, it is because aluminum has no electrons in the D subshell, and the D subshell are transition metals. Those are from 3 to 12. It's a 10 block. So yeah, they had to give 10 spaces for the Ds, and then they continued on to 13. All right, so the main group elements, which are the first and second group, and 13 all the way to 18, they have to be split because of the transition metals, which are the D block. So this is transition metals. And transition metals have many, many, many charges. That's why they can transition to one charge to another charge. They don't have a specific trend like the main group elements have. So that's the end for this one. No D, sub, no D subshell, no electrons in the D subshell. Simple as that, all right? So hopefully this helped. Click that like button if it did. Don't forget to subscribe. It will help the channel out greatly, and I thank you all for that. Thank you for the support. Thank you for coming here to get your answers. Um, happy studying. See you number 87.